Well, itchy eyes, runny noses, and constant sneezing. One in four Americans suffers from seasonal allergies. Medical reporter Lori Johnson tells us what to do to ease the misery. This time of year, pollen often becomes public enemy number one, and it's floating all around, mainly from trees, grass, and weeds. Our level of discomfort often depends on where we live. Here in Virginia Beach, we really have a tough time because this is the second worst city in America for seasonal allergies, right behind Wichita, Kansas. Rounding out the top five, Greenville, South Carolina, Dallas, and Oklahoma City. The good news is you can find ways to minimize <laughs> symptoms. We all like that fresh spring air to come in, but what's in that air? Pollen. So keep that out. That means staying inside, closing windows, and turning on the air conditioner. When you do go out, remember that pollen is a magnet and will stick to your clothes, hair, and skin. When you go back in the house, you can avoid spreading it by changing clothes and taking a shower. I always tell my patients to keep an allergy-free zone in their house, and that should be the bedroom, because that's where you spend the most time and that's where you sleep. Frequently wash your sheets in hot water, and pets can bring in pollen from the outside as well. You want to take the, uh, your pets, your loving animals, out of your bed, because that also will, uh, is a slew of allergenic um, antigens that will cause allergic reactions and respiratory issues. An air purifier can also help. Use a HEPA filter with a carbon filtration system. That combination is the best to clean the air inside. When it comes to treatment, experts say allergy shots tend to work best. And it increases the immune system's tolerance. So over time, we can significantly decrease or even eliminate your symptoms altogether. I got to say, Gordon, the allergy shots are fantastic. What you do is you get uh, your shot or shots. About You start up with like one, two, or three a week, mm -hmm. and then you gradually taper off to like a series of shots maybe once every two months. I had them. I went through. I did. And, you know, it's, it takes a couple years. You have to go, you know, frequently for like a couple years. And I stopped taking my allergy shots four years ago, and I haven't had any allergy symptoms since mm. then. It's been great because I had suffered horribly with allergies and tried everything, and the shots were the only thing that worked. Did you uh, get a panel to find out what you were I allergic did. to? I know. That was not the most fun I've ever had, but it's really interesting to learn all the things you're allergic to. So what they do is the allergist kind of puts every conceivable thing that you could be allergic to underneath your skin, and if your skin sort of welts up, then they know that's what you're allergic to and it turns out I was allergic to so many things and it's great even if you don't have the allergy shots it's really great to know what you're allergic to because you can at least keep an eye on the weather forecast and the local news and they'll tell you which per particular allergens are high you know what types of trees what types of grass what types of pollen because they can be high in spring summer or fall so you can kind of you know even if you don't do the shots you can it's good to know what you're allergic to right so you can, you can get rid of it and you're garden. Exactly. <laughs> so Don't get those trees. Don't plant those ash trees. That's one of my big allergens. Yeah. All right. Is there, short of shots and the panel and doing all of that, is there anything over the counter? I, I know people that, that swear by Zyrtec. And, right. Um, exactly. And so you may have noticed in the, in the show or in the uh, story that I just said, Virginia Beach is the second worst two. city in the country. So I went to the store to get some of these things to show our viewers mm -hmm. and the shelves were practically bare. <laughs> that goes to show you how this bad allergy allergies season. are. You know, none of the other cells were bare, like during COVID, just the mm. allergy section. But yeah, I, I had a meeting yesterday with an allergy sufferer, and <laughs> she was having trouble staying in the meeting because she was it was it was off the charts for her. Well, you need to tell her to get the shots because I used to be that person. But anyway, most folks start out with an antihistamine. So this is an antihistamine, a Claritin, Zyrtec, Zizol, and these are great for instant relief. Sometimes people complain about being drowsy. Some people have the opposite effect. They're, they make you hyper. But a lot of folks uh, like these. I actually had a side effect, which was a little strange. I lost my sense of taste and smell. Can you believe it? It's it's an, an, a rare side effect. So then that this, wasn't from COVID. That was uh, this was before COVID. Yeah, oh. mm -hmm. yeah. So then uh, this is another great thing. These are called corticosteroids. Some people just call them steroids. I'm talking about Flonase. Uh, 
Nasonex, and I used to so take... So these are inhalers. Right, these. And these do not work instantly. You have to kind of build up, so it takes a couple... Well, I've heard none of it works instantly. Uh, well... You can take an antihistamine and get... Right, you instantly you know, six down hour, this. six hour, 12-hour right. relief. But right. these longer terms, yeah. like the shots, oh, yeah, it, the shot. it is a longer yeah. term solution. Um, so if you, I loved Flonase, and I used to take Flonase every day for years. And then I started thinking, gee, I don't know if I really want to take a steroid the rest of my life indefinitely. Aren't there side effects to the long term well, use? They, sort I've of. I actually yeah, damage things. Nasal dryness. And I went to my ENT and I said, is there any problem with me taking Flonase every day indefinitely? And he said, not really. Don't worry about it. <laughs> But anyway, uh, mm. I, I was said, well, I really don't want to do that. And he said, well, then take the shots. But these these are good. It takes at least a couple days, sometimes a couple weeks to sort of build up the, re you know, build up your to the where they fully work. When you're suffering and you hear it's going to take a couple of weeks, you kind of go, no. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. So what, what provides the most immediate relief? Um, well, these uh, antihistamines provide the most immediate relief. So, but plan ahead. If you know you have allergies, well, I see you plan got nasal ahead with irrigation. This. Now, these there. are wonderful too, and I love these. Although they don't necessarily you love work. Them? If you have, what? I love them. They're so much fun. Have you ever tried a neti pot? There is no fun to that. <laughs> well, it depends on what you consider fun. I, I, I do like not them. consider things coming it's out of my like, nose um, and mouth fun. But what it is is your. Uh, this is called nasal irrigation. You have there a are weird two. Of fun. I know, right? I, have fun with I know. Fun. So this is, I, but I, I, it's fun because you're like rinsing out your sinus, you're cleaning. You Don't know, it's that wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. So what you do is uh, you put a little bit of salt water in. This is a neti well, my pot. My mileage has varied. <laughs> I'm, I'm not getting the same. <laughs> So this is a neti pot, and you basically put salt water in here, and it, you pour it in to one nose, and it goes through your sinuses and comes out the other side. Do this over I the sink. I thought it came out your mouth. No, it can't, no, you have to close your mouth. Oh, okay. uh, and then uh, this. It doesn't go back, back your throat? No, no, no. no. Oh. And this is another type of nasal irrigation where it has a little bit more force. So you put the salt water in here and stick it in here and squeeze it, and it goes through one um, sinus and through the other one, and so out comes all the. Uh, the pollen and also the mucus which clogs your sinuses and you have fun with that it's fun for me oh my. <laughs> see i don't go to clubs <laughs> or parties i stay home and do the nasal irrigation the thing that, that you need to remember about nasal fun irrigation <laughs> Let's do, let's do a neti pot. Do a you have to use distilled water. Party. You have to use distilled water for this uh, or boil water for a minute because there's this very yeah. rare but deadly amoeba that if it gets into your sinuses can travel to your brain and is almost and that always comes fatal. From tap water. It, ca it can, but also more concerning, and this is another subject, I've actually done a story on this um, for for people when you're swimming in freshwater ponds or rivers or lakes that's that's warm so you want to not get it in your sinuses so i'm talking about things you know when you rough house or sometimes when you dive or jump in and you don't want to get that warm water in your sinuses because it's very rare only about 150 people have had this type of infection since 1962 but all but two of them have died because it can travel from your sinuses up to your brain okay so that's something to think about when you're so take the swimming soul water to your nasal rinse party yeah <laughs> Right, exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah, and also I did want to plug this book. Okay. Um, if you if you are into natural cures, this is um, Suzanne Bennett, Dr. Bennett, who was featured in the piece, wrote this wonderful book, The Seven Day Allergy Makeover, and it talks about all kinds of natural ways to cure and to treat your allergies, and not just seasonal allergies, but allergies to things like environmental allergies, like dust mites, and you know. Um, you things that in your house and then also food allergies as well okay well Lori knows how to party if you want to find <laughs> out more information all you have to do is go to cbnnews.com it is allergy season spring is here and so is the pollen so be informed and if you're a sufferer realize that sometimes the best way to do it is to go to the doctor and go through the shop